What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to port and shim an oil pump for a Honda Civic B-Series engine or D-Series engine. So here's my oil pump. Um, this is for a D16Y7, but this will be really the same for any Honda Civic oil pump or Acura Integra. There's already a video on this that somebody else did. It's really good. So I'm just going to put a link to it. But because I have to do this anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the whole process. He doesn't really show you everything in that video. So you might want to consider watching this one or both of them, uh, but they both should be good videos. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is completely disassemble this. This is a brand new oil pump. Um, the one that was in my motor previously failed, uh, which is part of the reason why I'm rebuilding my motor. So I uh, got a new one here. We're going to take this apart. So you're going to undo all of these screws. You might need a manual impact driver to do this um, because they are kind of a pain. I ended up using a ratchet with a Phillips head bit in it to break these loose, which you could also do. Um, but these are all broken loose right now. The other thing that you're going to need is an Allen for this and then an Allen for here. And you're gonna need probably an impact gun to get both of these out because they are very, very tight. Uh, this is a 10 millimeter Allen and I believe this is a, and this one is eight millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing apart. All right, I can't get this out. I need a better impact gun, so we're gonna skip porting this for now, and um, we're just gonna go ahead and shim this thing. So to shim it, what you wanna do is take this out. You have to break this loose probably with an impact gun. And then when that comes out, you're gonna have this washer here and this piece. Inside of here, there's also a spring and a little piston. The piston doesn't want to come out. There we go. Got the piston out. And what you want to do is just take a, a little washer, about 40 thousandths thick, and stick it on here. The best thing to use is actually a quarter inch, a quarter inch ring terminal. You can get these at AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts. I got this one from Advanced Auto Parts. And you just have to drill out the center to fit over here. This is 40 thousandths thick exactly. I measured it with a caliper. And it doesn't hang over the edge here. It sits, it's like the perfect width to go on here. Um, so this goes on there. And then you have the spring that goes on there. And then the piston goes on the bottom of the spring and all of that goes back in here. What that will do is puts a little bit more tension on the spring, which makes it harder for the spring to open, which gives you another five PSI or so across the board. Uh, with your oil pressure. So we're going to start drilling this thing out with a 5 16 drill bit. So as you can see, we have this now. I just cut that, cut it off with die cutters. Um, and we're just gonna use these to cut it round. Uh, and then it fits on, fits on here perfectly. All right, so now you can see we got our little washer on there on the end. And then what you do is you put this washer back on. You put your spring on the end here. And then you pop this little piston right there in the end, and then you slide this whole thing back into the oil pump and screw it in. And now we'll come back a different day, and uh, we'll get this thing all ported out. All right, so I got this now. I should be able to get that stuck bolt out, so I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this whole thing again. Okay, 
Okay, so we got this thing out. Um, what we're gonna do is drill this hole out inside here a little bit with this drill bit. This is the biggest drill bit that I have. So this is gonna go in here and uh, we're gonna drill all the way out up until right here. Um, and then we're gonna come up here and we are gonna open this hole the same amount. I'm not gonna use the drill bit. I'm gonna use like a little air dremel and just open this hole up a little bit and then round the edges. All right, so as you can see, this hole is the right size now. I also rounded it out a little bit. Um, and then this goes all the way. I don't want to get it stuck, but this is all drilled out now as well with this drill bit. So we should be all good to put this thing back together. Um, I need some RTV to put back in here, which I don't believe I have here, so I'm gonna have to go buy some. Um, I did dig into this part a little bit on the side here, but that should be fine because we do have this ring. But yeah, so that's how you pour it in shim. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this thing back together. Alright, so now that everything's all drilled out, uh, we did clean this out. We, we blew it out with air and there's uh, no burrs in there or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and reassemble everything. I have some RTV to go on this plug right here. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on this screw up here and then all of these screws holding this plate in uh, but we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together when you're putting these gears in uh, this outside gear it doesn't matter which way it goes it can just go right there in the center and then the inside gear goes with the lip facing down and you can just kind of rotate it around till it uh, fits into place. Just like that. Alright, so everything's back together now. I uh, went ahead and threw this in the vise and I tightened this one and this one um, as much as I could with this ratchet. Uh, I don't want to go too hard. Um, and then I tightened all of these with a ratchet with a screwdriver bit in it. Um, and these have Loctite on them, this has Loctite on them, and this has uh, RTV on it. But this is ready to go. This should give us a little bit more oil flow now and um, a higher oil PSI. So that is how you port and shim an oil pump for a D series or B series Honda Civic or Integra. That's the end of this video. So if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.